Okay, so this is going to be a test video of new recording settings. If for whatever reason this video is coming in poor or something, please tell me because I intend to record all future videos like this unless people are seeing things wrong. I'm upping my recording settings from 1080p up to 2K. I'm going to be two doing 2K recordings but I can record in 2K and downscale to 1080 if needed. Otherwise, all future videos are going to be recorded and uploaded in 2K as long as YouTube lets me. Further, I'm going to just remind everyone right here that I have a Twitch that I've been streaming on. I've been doing Final Fantasy 15 and started Final Fantasy 1 this weekend. I'm going to be playing other games too. And once Endwalker comes out, I'm going to be streaming all of my Endwalker progress, basically. Going to stream the story, going to stream grinding up Reaper, and getting stuff ready for when I need to create those videos, etc. I also have a Twitter, follow me on there. I have a Patreon, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that much longer, we'll see. I also have a general gaming channel that I rarely put other kinds of videos on. I'm probably going to be doing ones on the, more on Yakuza of, I want to do one on Yakuza 6 and Yakuza 7 once I play that one all the way through. I also have a stream archive channel for any uh, streams you've missed. Both of those you can find in my main channel page that should be somewhere in there. I'm not exactly sure where, but both the stream archive channel and an other videos channel that are non Final Fantasy 14 related and just all that good stuff. Follow me on places, etc, etc. So using this little test video here, I'm also going to tell a story. The story is about getting my new PC. That's why I'm going to be able to record better is because I wanted to get a new PC for Endwalker to be able to up my quality and also potentially do more things and etc. And my old PC is over five years old now so it was it was getting there in age but it, it still runs well but I wanted to up my quality if I'm going to be doing this and especially for Endwalker I want to make the guides extra quality. So I decided I was going to make a new computer, or less accurately, buy a new computer because GPUs, if you don't know, have been in a rare supply recently due to Bitcoin and all those other reasons, etc. So I was going to just skip the middleman. I can't get, I've had no luck getting a card. So I just skipped the middleman and just, okay, pre-built. Whatever, as long as it works, as long as everything seems to work and the parts are correct and everything's quality, I've checked that, it's all good, and it's running beautifully so far. So, I, I, and this is, this is on the computer. Also, this is unscripted if you couldn't tell, but this is all done on the new computer, the recording of the video, the audio, etc. So that's why I'm do asking for feedback on the quality and all that. But okay, so... I decided I'm going to get a new computer. I have that, but everything between wanting to get one and actually receiving it, and even up to today, as uh, this is the 11th, August 11th, that I'm recording this, potentially today is the last day of anything I have to do regarding this PC. I've had this PC for over a week now. So, uh, a week after getting the PC, I'm still doing stuff just to get things settled with it. Should say a lot about how hard it was to get this PC. So let's start back at the beginning. I decide finally, okay, I'm going to do my research. I'm going to see what pre-built PCs there are, what ones look good for both rendering and gaming, just because I'm going to be rendering games and all that. So what's the best of both worlds? measure my budget, see how high I can go. I put my budget pretty high just because I wanted to get something good and with how the market is, if I'm going to get something good, it's going to be pretty expensive. But eventually, after all my researching, I settled on going with Corsair. They're a good company for coolers and all that, so I figured the coolers are good, everything else they should do might be up on the level, won't be as quality as like 
the the graphics cards might not be direct from Nvidia. They might be a third party. The motherboard might not be the best motherboard out there because it's one of their motherboards and they're not known for motherboards, etc. But I I mean the name is known for coolers, so I figured it's a good shot of a good retailer to get a full pre-built PC for, and I went with the Vengeance A7200 gaming PC. It comes with an R9 5900X RTX 3080, yeah I went for a 3080, not just a 3070, a terabyte M.2 and two terabyte HDD, 32 gigs of RAM, and it's DDR4 3200 RAM, so it's it's pretty good RAM. But so, I went with that. It comes to 3400 before tax, and it's almost, it's about an extra 200 after tax, so it's a $3600 PC. That's really expensive, right? Yeah? Okay, K keep this in your mind. Keep, keep, keep that in the back of your mind. So, I go to order it. I go place the order, and the page never loads. I click the... I put all my info in, all that, click the go, and it, it just keeps loading, 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 so it failed. I try a second time, and it fails again, but this time it tells me some kind of feedback that it failed, and that I need to call the bank. So I did call the bank, but it was the weekend when I finally went with the purchase. Which, mistake number one, that's on my fault that I waited until the weekend to finally purchase it. My bank's not completely open on the weekend, so I had to call, like, a main branch number or whatever. I don't know how, what specifically it was, but I had to call a helpline just to get me... The reason why it failed twice was because that's... I have a, a credit limit, or a limit, a debit limit for purchases like this. And it was like, I think my limit's like 3,000. And I have it in place just in case something happens that I get my card stolen or something. And I, d I don't, just in case, I don't do anything that I would lose my card info. But just in case, I like having it there that, uh-oh, something happened. And then minimize the amount of losses of that. If I did lose it, I'd only lose $3,000 and not like... 10,000 or whatever with people doing whatever with my card info. So I limit how much I will get charged if I lose my card, but that means I have to, anytime I want to make any big purchases, like a $3,600 computer, I have to call them up and say, hey, can you raise my limit? And so they raised my limit. And then finally, after that, I got through and purchased the PC. The problem's don't end there. So I get off with I get off of the bank and then I wait for the email because whenever you buy something, they send you an email about it that hey, you bought a thing. Email doesn't come in on Saturday. I figure okay, on they they have to make sure that they have stock before they send an email that anything's going to go through. So Sunday comes, no email. Okay, yeah, it's going to be Monday. Monday comes, I don't get any email, but my bank does have the charge. I look in my bank and it says that the charge is there and that it's pending. So the, the bank did actually get the charge. Tuesday, no email. Wednesday, no email. Thursday, no email. Friday, no email. And then the charge disappears from the bank. It was completely canceled. And I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Why did this disappear? Where's my email? Why didn't the bank get... Why is it gone from the bank? So I call the bank and be like, hey, what happened with the charge? It's because it hadn't been officially charged and they only officially charge once they ship the PC and the limit that I had set does I say, hey, give me a 4,000 limit instead of 3,000. That has a timer on it. So that ran out and so that's why the PC stopped being shipped or whatever and the the charge was cancelled and didn't completely go through. Why it took until Friday for that to happen, I don't know. But then I call Corsair and ask about... Actually, I called Corsair first about it. I did the piece... I talked to the bank second to learn about that part of it. I actually called Corsair first and asked about... 
hey, I never got an email, what's, what's going on? And they can't find my order. My order just does not exist. My bank actually got the charge and it was impending. It was there that they got something that Corsair saw and sent it over. But Corsair themselves could not find my order with the email. And I didn't have the, the order number because I was expecting an email. So I didn't keep the web page open of, okay, that's, that's my fault mostly. But also I didn't expect to never receive an email when... Of course, I, can't. I even gave my email to the person on the phone saying, Hey, this is my email. Where's my order? And the guy tells me they can't find it. It's nowhere to be seen. So I have to start the whole process over. And they also send me to a uh, to the email support. So they send me to email support. And I have to I reorder a new computer. Same thing. Go through all the info. This time... Order goes through, still no email. The only reason, the only reason I actually got the order confirmation this second time is because it was forwarded to me. Because it was forwarded. So both times the email never came to me using the correct email. I'm on the correct email, but it just never comes to me but this time they actually get my order and i'm in connection with an email support person and so we're going through all that fun stuff of hey email support so they 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 resent the email i got the email this time okay everything's hunky dory she tells me all the info like hey you purchased the pc on 719 it will take two weeks until we ship the item please wait two weeks for everything to be ready and all that and so we just i just have to wait the author i have to wait for the authorization and all that and so i got the email and i'm ba going back and forth with the email support person who seems to not get everything i'm saying like hey like hey i did the order this time i didn't i didn't get an email this time either but because they forwarded the email to me, I did get it. It's like, hey, if I didn't get I didn't get the email this time either, I only got it because you forwarded it to me. So something's going wrong with your system that your system isn't giving me the emails. And then kind of just like blew this off or whatever. And like, hey, I the confirmation info or email was sent to you at this time. See the photo. And the general stuff of like, hey, wait two weeks, blah, blah, blah. It's like... That's not what I was saying. I was saying that the only reason I got the email was because you sent it to me a second time after the system failed too. Oh, but okay, so I go into asking about like fully telling me about how it works that, okay, they will not charge me until after two weeks and the PC is shipped because that was not clear that it would only be fully charged once it ships and not just, okay, we have your money, we will ship your product when it's ready. So I uh, had to make sure and I had to go call the bank back to say, hey, increase my limit for a longer amount of time. I need two weeks, blah, blah, blah. And then the next day comes, the bank no longer shows the pending charge. It's just gone again. So I call them back or email back and saying, hey, the bank's no longer showing the charge. And they're like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Blah, blah, blah. And so then for a few times, it's just normal. And then comes a week later. So about a, or not a week later, but several days later, I get the, a notice from them, another email saying, hey, the authorization expired, so I have to go through the bank again to say, hey, in I guess whatever the bank did, they didn't do the info right, but I have to go to the bank again and say, hey, can you fix this? And then, can you give me the limit increase for two weeks? Make sure, please, to keep it open so that this authorization goes through and that I can actually pay for the computer. And then they try it again, and then the bank was unwilling to accept the transaction or whatever. But I got that through, called the bank back, got it through. 
Okay, so going more emails back and forth just to make th make sure things are clear. I asked for any estimated time on shipping. Still no info. Just wait two to three weeks based on stock and all that. And then comes the end of the month. Let's talk July 28th. My bank is now showing two pending charges for the computer. Two of them. I email about this and they say, oh, okay. One, if one of them is voided. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna, nothing bad is gonna happen. It's all good. And then they email again. The other payment was also declined. So these one voided and one actual charge both failed. So I have to call the bank again, figure out what's going on with them. I get them to finally okay the purchase. And then come the 29th, I look at my bank statement again. There's not two charges now. There's three charges this time. One was processed and two was pending. I warn them like, hey, I've been officially charged for one, but there's two more pending charges. And I'm like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? And she confirms to me, okay, there is... And actually, okay, so I, I say, hey, I call the bank. They confirm that the payment went through and that there are two other charges. And uh, I'm afraid of being charged more times. Remember, this is a... $3,600 PC that my bank is saying I'm being charged three times for. Okay. So I, may, so I email Corsair saying, hey, what's going on? And they say, oh, the back end likes to confuse people. I'm sorry that you see duplicate transactions. And then she confirms to me that there is indeed multiple transactions. And I am offered and I am given a refund. So they did actually charge me multiple times, not just, oh, I'm sorry the back end confused you. They actually did charge me multiple times, and yet they're being patronizing that I'm confused, despite that you have just confirmed to me I was charged multiple times, and you're giving me a refund. But that's, if you were paying attention, I just described two charges, one that went through and one refund. That still leaves the third charge. And so for the next while, I keep talking and talking. It's like, hey, there's three charges though. Why are there three charges? So the next day goes through. I get my refund. There's two charges. I get the refund, but there's still the third charge. The third charge is still there for pending. And then the pending charge clears. So now there are three charges and one refund. But there's soap, so... Canceling two of them out for a refund and a charge, that still leaves I've been charged twice for a computer. And I'm, I keep saying, hey, what's going on? And they're saying, no, there's, there's no third charge, there's only the two, and I refunded the one, blah blah blah. And I keep going back and forth, no, look at this, here's proof that says that there are three charges and one refund. Why have I been charged three times? Blah 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 blah. And I'm getting nothing back. Nothing at all. I'm, I keep just, hey, what is going on? Why am I charged three times? Why? What? How? This is a lot of money. What is happening? And then August 4th finally arrives and the PC comes in. And the PC comes in a second time. There are two PCs. My order was only for one. D that much is for sure. I get them in and I email back saying, hey, the PC arrived. There's two of them. Why are there two PCs? And then I look at the order numbers on the packing shipping, the shipping packs, whatever they're called, the packing info. They have different order numbers. And I say that, hey, here are the order numbers. What is going on? And they're like, oh, having issues with payment and knowing that there are two pending orders would have been helpful from the beginning. However, our emails have only been about this one specific order. 
uh, I, I didn't know there was two orders at all. Because I only ordered one. And then that's about when it hit me. That first order that Corsair told me on the phone that does not exist. This order with this email does not exist. That's this PC. That's where the second PC came from. An order that according to their own workers say does not exist. This is after a week of the order being a week after I originally ordered the PC. That's, that's it. Like, that's the only way, way it could be. Because I ordered one time. And so I should have only gotten one PC. But I got two. But I got a second one. Which can only be the first time when I order it on a Friday or Saturday. I forget when. And then a week later, I call Corsair and ask them what's going on. And the order does not exist. If the order existed... It should have appeared in the system within a week. It should have been appeared in the system within a day. But a week later, the first order did not exist. And so yet, I got two orders. And so I tell the lady in the emails, Hey, here's the order numbers, what's going on? And she confirmed that there are in fact two orders under my account for two PCs. And that she has to confirm with their team on what's on if this is all real and they finally get back to me of like hey yeah this is in fact true and I say and I finally just want to just send it back I want to just send one back I only need the one PC the one I opened is working fine let me send the other one back I don't need two nearly four thousand dollar PCs one is good so I ask how do I go about refunding it and so she emails me back we have a feature that allows you to access the Corsair portal to initiate your return. Please verify your account and a, and a verification email was sent to me. Follow the link to complete my return. I follow the link in the verification email that was sent to me. It takes me to a generic login page. It does not work. There is, it's not verifying. I'm given nothing to verify. And I... I email back saying, hey, this is the link I was given, but all it does is take me to a login page. No verification pages. What is going on? Because I, I didn't create a Corsair account. I was just going through guests because I didn't think things would be this bad. I guess I should have made a Corsair account, I guess. That's on me, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I would have expected things to not go like this. But yeah, so I emailed back saying, the emails, the, the, the link's not working. I get two emails again. The first is another verification email with another link that just takes me to a generic login. No such verification. The second email is in the same chain of support of the main line we've been asking, chatting back and forth. And she asked, tell me which one you want me to return. And so I tell her the order that I want to return, the order number. They send me an email. I have just, and they say, here's all the info. I have just generated a label for you with our self-service system. It should arrive in a separate email. Please notify me if you do not receive the label within 24 hours. This was on Friday, August, August 6th. So it was the weekend, but 24 hours pass. No email. 48 hours pass. No email. Come Monday, it has been 72 hours. No email with the label that I've been generated. And so they have to manually send me the email for my label. Now with their system, they had to manually attach to the big support chain of command email that we've been doing. They have to send it to me manually so every automatic email i was supposed to receive the first time with the first attempt to order the pc no email the second time no email until it was forwarded to me and then this third time with the the shipping label info no 
email unless it was manually sent to me. And then both emails for verifying my account, for, I guess to turn it from a guest account into a normal account, both of those did not work. And they know it's a guest account because the, the email chain was even saying that it's a guest account. So why are they trying to have me verify unless it's just turning it into a full account and that's not working? Nothing in their system seems to work at all. They can't find my first order and then they charge me twice for the same order the second time. And so finally, they emailed me the, the sh actual correct info, tell me all the things I need to do. And so as of today, I put, I sent the second computer back. And hopefully, this is the end of the story. I really, 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 really hope this is the end of the story. I will get my money back. I have one good PC that's working well, and hopefully the upgrade was worth it for the video quality and the asset quality that I will do. And yeah, you may have noticed that aside from the dictionary, which I finished last month, but was putting it ahead just to... I like scheduled it ahead of time, I finished it last month just to be this month's video. Aside from this video, you may notice that I won't be doing any other videos this month, I don't think. I mean, I'll try, but the next video I want to do is going to be a lengthy one to do. And so that probably won't come out until September. And you, I think you can understand why. Because even doing this, just telling the story, getting footage just for B-roll for this video only just started today, the 11th. I've had the computer for a week now, like I said. I haven't worked on anything for the past week because I was so just done with everything. All the work that went into this, all the unnecessary stress and being charged three times and worrying about that's a lot of money, like even just for one of these that I am keeping, that is a lot of money. Two of them is even more money. And so I've gone through a lot of stress just to get this. Some of it maybe you could argue is my fault. But the fact, but it, it's prove, ju proven that just this system does not work. And so that is the tale of the Corsair PC. Please, like, once again, give me feedback on if the video footage and the audio quality is all good. If anything's just wrong, please tell me. Like I said, I, I want to be up in my quality, so please give feedback on the video. And I hope you enjoyed my story. Because I sure didn't. Take care, and may the power of Anne and Ed Hogsley waste to your enemies. And don't buy a Corsair PC unless you want to have a headache. <laughs>